everyone welcome back to mouth no matter if you have not already subscribed then you might as well subscribe since you're already here like subscribe hit the subscribe button like and let's get right into this so we're going to be talking about metaphorical hair and if you're new here the typical fashion of this goes in we're going to talk about the plot the characters my likes and dislikes then we're going to um give it like a theory and then a rating and then my final thoughts so going right into it let's talk about the plot so the plot is it follows this um poet called laney and she's kind of blackballed from like really credible places so that where she can do her poetry by this like guy called asher who's we'll get into him later and so yeah her her um what's it confidence just gets short more and more and more until she's able to kind of like build back a following of people and um yeah so the character is Lainey, like this is our main protag, she's um, one of the most uh, hateable characters, yeah, she just, she's just not great, I mean she's okay, but like she's not fantastic, I, I yeah, I'll probably get more um, in depth into her, but she's just, she's very, I don't want to say self-serving, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad if someone called her self-serving. I wouldn't be mad if someone called her self-serving, self-sabotaging. Just, yeah. It, yeah. Okay, then we get Jean, her brother, who is just really supportive, all-around good guy. Um, He's a musician. He's cool, whatever. Then we have Vic, who's like this inventor girl. She's great. Um, Also a really good, like, supportive friend of um, Lainey. They're also they're really they're great friends. And um, she's quite unsure of herself sometimes, but like she doesn't have to be because her adventures are fantastic. But I get where that imposter syndrome comes from. Like I completely get it and I see it. And hey, and then Asher. Asher is our villain of the story. Just all around such a skeevy guy. Like just, just the worst kind of person you can find. Just, 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 mm, just the worst. Okay, so on to my likes and dislikes. So first off, for my likes. I really like the art like the depictions are so fucking cool like there was one time when they were like um she was going from place to place to see where she could like perform poetry and then of course her her confidence is going you know down and down as she keeps on getting rejected and I remember from like the first theater that she went to they were advertising this like show called shrunk in the musical and I just like thought it was such like a cool like visual clue because we saw her getting smaller it was it was really cool and um yeah I like when she goes there was this one time when she was about to go like ape shit and i thought that was really cool i think they turned her into kind of like the incredible hulk kind of in a way it was really cool i like that one but that's pretty much the only time i like when lady goes ape shit other times it's just like she's doing the fucking most but we'll get to that later um the next one is that i like when she like never shits on like science girl i love how i have, <laughs> i have her as science girl in here when i was making my notes um I completely forgot her name when I was rereading this, but yeah, um, Vic, science girl is Vic, um, but yeah, only at the, like, let's say, end, end, when she sort of does something that's to the detriment of Vic, but she was kind of doing it just so that, um, for the greater good of Vic and her, you know, her, um, Vic and her brother and Constance and, yeah, the whole shebang, she was trying to protect them, but yeah. The next thing is that um, I liked seeing her vulnerable after Asha's criticism. Like, I liked seeing that she wasn't impervious to like hate or to like criticism or to like just feeling low altogether. Like, it was it was nice. It was enjoyable. Uh, not that I like to see her down or whatever, but the fact that she's you know like an actual human being because sometimes like to my next point is that Lainey gets credited for doing shitty things she gets credited for doing shitty things and yet they show her doing this like amazing thing so if it wasn't for that line of oh okay people calling Lainey out people calling Lainey an asshole if it wasn't for that then like I don't know what I've done I probably would have DNF this I probably would have dropped this this webtoon because like honestly 
I, I just hate reading things where it's like the character is just the worst. It's just the worst. But then every single other character around them is like being like, no, they're so great. So and so forth. They're just really, really good. And it's like, are you not seeing what I'm seeing? You like, no. So, yeah, I liked seeing her vulnerable to all of that. Um, next one is that I like that it walks the line of like art and selling out i like how they prioritize money you know what i mean i like how they're not like oh we're just doing this because it's our passion and oh so and so forth. like like yeah it's your passion cool but like the bitches got to eat we've all gotta eat gotta pay well i don't know if there's a problem with rent but like at the same it's just i just too many times i see um a depiction of like artists who are like oh yeah we, we do this from the passion or from our hearts we don't care about fucking money we're not gonna sell out i see sell out so much and it's like my guy money money like money just get your money just get your fucking money as long as you're doing what you you don't even have to be doing what you love to get your money to be honest to be fucking honest but it would be great if you can do what you love and get money out of it and like it seems that they're in they're in creative spots where they're able to do that so if i was seeing some type of shit like oh i'm just doing this because i love it i'm not doing it for the money you know what i mean it's like shut up i would have been like keep quiet no mm, mm, you know what i mean um so the next one is um that one guy who always just hypes her up and goes to all her shows like i love him he's great he's awesome number one stan we we appreciate him we love him he's just always there at all her shows and it's like oh okay cute um so the next one is constance i really like constance constance has her shit together i really need a constance in my life to get my shit together so that everything can just be on track i really just need a constance she's just really self-sufficient she just gets shit done she's like yeah all her contacts everywhere just pulling things together making things like she has a plan and she knows how she's going to execute her plan and that's what i really love about constance okay i like the unique q a so they're doing like questions and answers and they did it in a way where it was kind of like uh they drew them themselves like the creators drew themselves and they were like it was kind of like oh we're getting questions from the crowd and it was cool it was cool i also like how they i like when i see creator interaction <coughs> sorry <coughs> i like when i see creator interaction with like with like the readers so i like how they drew themselves into like the things quite frequently not into the stories but like at the end of it and then they'd say something i like it i like it <clears throat> the next thing is that i really i like the premise of it i really like the premise of it hardly do i see like oh well, well is it hardly maybe i do see it quite a few times but um <clears throat> i'm not sure if i've seen like that kind of scene if that makes sense I don't, i'm not sure if i've seen such a like a creative like scene um so like explored you know like that music scene writing scene the poetry scene i don't think i've read it or seen i don't want to say seen again i don't think i've read it or explored something like that so i thought that was very interesting um the next thing is the arts i know i've talked about the arts before but like they really capture what they set out to do like it was really gritty and like the texture this is the first ever like webtoon that i've read that i can sort of feel everything that i'm seeing it was really great it was it was it was really good um there was one point in time when like Lenny had these text boxes and they were sort of like filled with like alcohol and i kind of i i wasn't paying attention too much but i like to think that they were showing how drunk she was by how like filled the the liquid in the text box was to like the top of the text box so that was really interesting um and i like the colors most of the time this webtoon is kind of like kind of muted kind of like dark ish so it's like a dark kind of green or like a like a like dark greens dark purples dark grayish kind of you, you know just that's very muted very so and so forth you know um 
but like when there's let's say like fireworks and that type of shit like fireworks against like the black sky stuff like that it's really it's really pretty it's very visually stunning i like stuff like that um even when let's say laney is like doing some poetry type shit and like the way they're depicting it that's really cool because they use the most vivid colors for like when she's talking about when she's when she's speaking when she's speaking when she's performing like they use like really vivid colors and it's great to see um the last one it is the last one is i really like the woman the woman in this story i just love all of them all of them have a special place in my heart even fucking Lainey. like even though she annoys me like even Lainey. like i love vic I love Akela. I love like you know I love Constance and Rachel. Rachel's this other um woman who was um who was Asher's assistant and she just kind of worked to like expose him. It was it was it was great. It was great. I loved seeing all of them. They were awesome. Just doing the damn thing. It was it was it was really good. Honorable like male character mentions. Uh Jean and Gary. I want to say his name is pronounced like Gary not Jerry, but like yeah he, they're great too and um yeah that random guy who keeps hyping them up like yeah but like the woman mwah, like mwah, perfection we stand oh also just before like i think at least it needs to be added like the amount of diversity in this not only like in terms of like gender but like in terms of like race and um sexuality so that was cool so um dislikes like i said i don't even like laney I don't really like Lainey. I think she's so... She's really unlikable. I, I don't know what to tell you. But she's supposed to be. That's the thing. She's supposed to be unlikable. Which I can credit the authors for doing well. Like I said, if they hadn't put other characters showing me that, nah, Lainey's an asshat. You're not, you're not the only one out here thinking it. I would have been like, hmm. But she's supposed to be unlikable. And that's fine. I don't mind unlikable characters. I just, yeah, obviously I feel the way I feel about them. I'm supposed to feel that way about them. I mean, she has some redeeming qualities. I can't fucking lie. She's great. Um, She's not only out for numero one. She's she's also trying to, like, protect her friends. Because this one time, Asha gave her an ultimatum that if she performed at, um, at, um, if she performed at this like huge arena that they finally it wasn't an arena it was just like out in open fields but constance had sort of whipped something up they were gonna um Lainey was gonna perform at the place with like her brother band in the background and then the brother's band was gonna use vic's invention and it was gonna be so cool and all that shit you know but um they said either if he does that then he was going to what was he gonna do he was just i can't remember what he was going to do but it affected um it was going to affect her brother vic and constant so she was like oh okay and she said okay fine i'll just stay at the avenue which is um asher's publication and shit so she's not completely self-serving she's just very kind of self-sabotaging she just yeah i don't want to talk about her 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 drinking because i know drinking is more than just drinking sometimes if you get drunk a lot you know it's 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 more than just yay i like to be drunk you know some like at some point it probably gets past that there's probably a lot of factors that contribute to you know you being i, w I don't want to say she's an alcoholic i don't want to say she is i want to say she's that's a pretty bold statement i just think she drinks a lot but yeah um the next thing is that she's quite heavy it's quite heavy handed it's quite heavy handed in its depictions like which leads to my next point it gets really drawn out sometimes and it's like okay i've seen this it's interesting what you're trying to do but after a while it's like okay okay because what you're trying to do here could have been solved with like a couple of text boxes and yeah i don't i, I don't know what's so great about the depictions is that it kind of makes mundane things not seem mundane so someone could be having a conversation and the way they go about it it's just so cool and it's really interesting um 
when it could literally just be like a board meeting or something or someone just just dialoguing it it kind of accurately like kind of like captures the tension and what's going on by drawing it so metaphorically or drawing yeah it's just i was drawing it so or drawing the metaphor so literally i think that's how i'll state it so yeah it's it's cool but it can get really drawn out um sometimes it takes itself too seriously there was this one time the narrator which i think was laney um they were kind of she was describing like the baskervilles like an arena where all these different artists come to fight and the microphone i can't remember what she said from the microphone that oh it's like um a weapon or something and i'm like mm, mm, just keep quiet just keep quiet and say your bit just keep quiet and say your bit i don't know that whole like it sometimes takes itself too seriously like too which i don't know what to say this is this is why you know this is why i always like encourage you guys to comment your opinions because like i could say one thing and someone could resonate with it but someone can use that exact same thing and say it in another way and be like yeah that's why it's so great <clears throat> so i could say oh well this taking itself too seriously and making it making those words like um making those words seem over dramatic um is kind of too much when there's already such like a like a literal depiction of what's metaphorically happening so like when if you get what i'm saying if you get, it's already too much it's really bogging it down but someone else could be like oh no but it kind of matches the tone of it, it kind of matches the, the 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 story tone of it the way they're kind of making it dramatic because the drawings are dramatic so it kind of fits the tone otherwise it'll be jarring so yeah it's a it's a it's a however you want to take it kind of thing so that's why i really encourage you know commenting and subscribing but yeah um it depends it really depends on how you like that um also she seems kind of self-righteous laney i'm talking about laney i was like get the fuck out of the stage like just leave just leave just go say your shit and go no need for all that just just no no there was one <laughs> there was one time the first time she performed at the basketball and it was just it was like oh yeah i just did something really cool after she performed um she performed something and it went really well um which which like yeah um we have to talk about how they they choose to not give us words to laney's poetry which is fine i don't really mind that i don't think it's a very interesting choice it's a very interesting choice i don't really mind it i feel like once you put words to something maybe they become open to critique so they kind of just draw the effect on other people when she's talking which is interesting it's interesting because maybe she could be saying something i'd be like you know, like that's not good the way i am i can really, i could probably be like that's not good and like art in itself and writing in itself can be very subjective like you get things that are bad and things that are good but most of the time it's like nah this is subjective you know what i mean so i guess I'm fine with not putting words in it. I think it's probably better that they didn't put words in it because it, it opens itself up to critique. And they said it themselves that um, Lainey is like, she does such a really good um, poet. And there's a reason why they didn't like put words to her thing because yeah, she's just really good and they didn't want to do such in case that, hey, what they put as creators would not match that. So I was like, okay. I respect i saw and so forth but yeah when i was saying it just there was a way she was getting off the stage at the basketball and it was like oh she just did something so great the way she exited she was just like bam out and then everybody was someone was like who was that and then june was like that it's my little sister and i was like shut up just keep quiet shut up no no don't give her a dramatic exit like that you know what i mean i don't know if you guys are getting but you've probably seen something like that you've probably cringed and i rolled it was like laney kind of hijacked um gene set gene was supposed to go um his band was supposed to perform but she went off on stage she was drunk she performed it was great she killed it and she just exited like a boss and she was and she just left that's all i was like who 
who was that? Who who was that? And he was like that or that, you know, like that. No, 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 no. Think about it. It's like that. No, that was my little sister. You know, I was like, no. It was like, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't make it more melodramatic. Like, don't, don't. It's just, it just makes it seem more. Mm, I don't know what to say. Um. Oh, there was no need for her to pop off all the time. That's my next one. Oh, hello, son. There was no need for her to like come, like just be so aggressive all the damn time. And I think maybe that's supposed to be one of her character flaws. But goddamn, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. It's like, can you chill? Could you chill? Like, calm down. There was no need. Nobody really needed that reaction from you. Like that person did not need that reaction. They just said something. No need for you to do all that. No need. It's just or you, you could have solved it by just saying, "Hey, that's not cool," or "Hey, no, chill. Just watch the show. People can surprise you." No need for you to be. <clears throat> okay, so that kind of wraps up my likes and dislikes. So next time, theory time. That's my next subsection of this show. Um, the first one I want to say is that. I Killa and Constance could probably date. Like I, I see them dating. Like I definitely, I won't be surprised if they date. You know what I mean? You know, although they're gonna be work partners now. I, I believe so. Maybe that won't be professional, nothing. But like, I could see them dating. I could definitely see them dating, especially with Jean and um and Vic are dating and they're working together now. So like, so yeah. Okay, the next thing is that maybe they're going to talk, they, something about their mom is going to happen. I don't know, I can't really remember if they said their mom died. I can't really remember. I remember seeing a flashback of the mother. Oh, also, I don't know why I didn't put it into my dislikes, but there was something the brother was saying. He was talking about guitars, he was talking about music and the way he was describing it. And I was like, God damn, this is a flashback. You're like 12 in this flashback. What are you saying? Just keep, no, no. 12 year old no kid talks like this it was just so weird it was just so weird anyway yeah there was a flashback and the mom was there and i'm like oh okay okay that's interesting so i don't know if the mom is going to pop out sometime in the future just gonna waltz back into their lives or if she's dead i don't know maybe there's like the anniversary of her death coming up or something or maybe they find something of hers i don't know it would be cool um next yeah okay cool 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 yeah that's done so time for my rating i'm gonna give this like a cool just a just a just a nice like eight out of ten just a cute little eight out of ten um but i giving it an eight out of ten just because okay so the first thing you need to do number one like this is my final thoughts now is that you have to read it all at once which is great because it's ended the, the series has ended which i was really surprised to see because i dropped off of this let me tell you my little history with myself and metaphorical her i used to hate metaphorical her i i i, I wasn't hate reading it but i used to i when you know <clears throat> So it used to upload every, I think maybe Sunday, it used to upload every Sunday. So you know when you have like a group of things uploading, so maybe like six series upload. I will always read Metaphorical Her first, just because I disliked it the most. So I wanted to get it over and done with. I would grudgingly read this thing. It was just so bad. I don't know why I hated it. I just really hated it. I just thought the meta, the all the drawings were too, it was just... It was just really drawn out. It was just really drawn out. I don't know what to tell you. If that's not your thing, the names, it's literally in the name metaphor. Like, yeah, it's just, I don't know what to fucking tell you, but, um, you get what you, <laughs> you get what you, what you'd sign in for. Um, but what I'm saying in that regard is that I just, I just didn't like it. I just didn't like it. But somehow it gels better when you read it all at once when you read it all at once like oh okay this gels better it feels better as opposed to when i was reading it one one um episode every week i was it was just really annoying and like i said i, I eventually dropped out of reading it not like i i say dropped out of it like i that was the only one i dropped out of i took a break from webtoon for a while i can't remember what i was doing i think i was busy with school or something like just yeah shit just got intense 
um but yeah it wasn't the only one i dropped out of but i feel like that one i was glad to stop reading you know but it's finished now and rereading it it was like i felt like it was just better altogether it just had a better quality um so the, oh another thing the ending was really good the ending was really really good too often i don't see nice cute endings that was such a nice cute ending i loved it it was great they had a great show um they exposed ashraf his credibility shot it's gone so and so forth it's gone they're probably going to take over the avenue publications they're going to be able to allow you know young young just young diverse any kind of poets it doesn't even have to be young but just poets you know and they're not going to cheat them because that's what Asher was doing Asher was cheating them was probably taking huge amounts of their money Asher was making expenses that probably didn't need to be as high as he was writing them out to be it was just a cheat he was an um it was I, I can i call him an embezzler it was an embezzler it was just really bad but yeah so it was just just a nice cute ending like this is really nice they had a great performance vix thing came through pulled through it was fantastic um laney was good i'm sure the band was good it was really great there was a social media kind of thing the audience loved them it was a nice cute ending we love to see it I, I like to see things like wrapped up in like a little bow it's really cute you know it's just yeah um so and the last thing i have to say is that i gave it an eight on like the facts you know like i like to give credit where credit is due like i give it an eight on the facts not on like the feeling like i said i don't really have a lot of like <sighs> on reread it was better but i can't ignore like my first feelings of it when i first read it um like i gave an eight to let's say girls of the world and girls of the world's high i feel better about girls of the world than i do about let's say this about this you know metaphorical her but like i can't ignore like they did so like they did a lot of things really good that i can't just be like oh no you can't get an eight because they deserve an eight they deserve an eight just because like the art was fantastic it was really good i liked the resolution of it it was just really good but i can't uh, make no mistake while girls of the wild and um this are on the same stage in terms of like score and whatever but i just feel better about girls of the wild than this but this that's not to negate what's great about metaphorical heart it's a really good webtoon at the end of the day the creators seem great it just yeah it was good it was good it was good nice little resolution it was cute it was great so yeah I, I i would recommend it i would recommend it um and yeah that kind of wraps up this 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 webtoon and yeah thanks for tuning in this has been mouth no matter make sure to subscribe this has been webtoon watch to see more episodes and more shit like that uh yeah subscribe like comments comment anything you want to comment comments if you're like oh wow yeah tz completely validated what i said like thank you so much or you're like no tz fucking square up like you're completely wrong what are you saying you're wrong and yeah thank you bye